My favorite drawing tablet is the Wacom One because you can draw directly on the screen and it works with your computer operating system such as Mac, Windows, or Linux. So because it is a pen display tablet, it's kind of like having a second monitor for your computer, but you can draw on that monitor. The issue I've always had with other products and other tablets is that they have their own operating system, so you can't really connect them to a Windows Linux device. And even if you connect it to a Mac, um, the software or programs won't work exactly the same because it's a different operating system on that um, standalone tablet. So having a pen display tablet is like an extension of your computer, and then you can draw on that display. So with the power to draw on any app that works on your computer operating system, um, what apps should you use to draw? I'll be showing three different apps in this video. While Pear Deck, Nearpod, and Google Drawings are all great if you want to make simple drawings and have you know interaction in your classroom where students can draw, if you want to get a little bit fancier and have more freedom with drawing tools, you can use Fire Alpaca, Krita, or Photopia.com. The best part is they're all free. The first drawing app we're gonna look at is a software called Fire Alpaca. So the pros here, besides having the most adorable logo, is that it's free, of course, and also you can animate with it, which is pretty neat. It's also pretty simple to use. And if you just take brush tool, you can see it's very easy to draw with. And it responds pretty well if you're drawing very fast. It's pretty good, pretty good software. One of the cons to Fire Alpaca is that it's a software that needs to be downloaded. So if a student doesn't have access to downloading software on their computer, they'll need permission to do so. But Fire Alpaca is pretty, pretty good if you're looking for a free drawing software. Fire Alpaca is compatible with Mac, Windows, and Linux. The next drawing app we're gonna look at is a software called Krita. This is actually my favorite free drawing software. Number one, it's free, and you can also animate with it. It's actually really great for animation purposes and for digital drawing. What I like about Krita too is the interface is a little bit more similar to Photoshop, and it's just easier for me to work with. It's also very responsive to drawing on a tablet, even if you're drawing really fast, which is great. One of the cons of Krita is that it tends to crash sometimes, which is not really fun, but if you remember to save your work often, then you should be fine. Another con for Krita is it is also a software that needs to be downloaded, just like Fire Alpaca, so you need to be mindful of your students' permissions to download software. Krita is compatible with Mac, Windows, and Linux. The third and final drawing app is a website called Photopia. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it is a really great app to use in the classroom. Some of the pros for Photopia is that it's free, number one. You can animate or draw with it. You can also use it on the web, so you don't need to download any software. This is why I prefer it in the classroom if students are not able to download a software or if they can't get permission to download a software they can use this website. Another reason I really like this website is because it looks almost identical to Photoshop. You can even download and save your files as Photoshop files. This is what Photoshop looks like. As you can see, very, very similar in design and in the tools that are being used. Another reason I really like it is because on this project window, you can choose a social media size so if you want to make a youtube profile picture a twitter header youtube cover photo it gives you the size already like pre-made which is really helpful if you want to make content or if you want to get your students engaged in making uh, social media content one of the cons for photopia is that it is very similar to photoshop so it's a little more complicated to use for new users so you should definitely have a grasp of how to use it before you teach it in the classroom and that's our three drawing apps that you can use in the classroom, or you can use them for anything that you're doing, really. Next video, I'll show you how to animate a Bitmoji in Photopia. So if you like these videos and you wanna see more, please like and subscribe. And if you have suggestions on videos that you want to see me make, you can put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, bye.